Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Look who it is. Hey guys, and it, girls. <laughs> and girls. It's Dave. Dave and I are fishing again. So it's been, oh, ages. Months. Yep. We were just talking about this on the way. It's been months since we caught up and fished. So we've been looking forward to this one for a while and we're in a pretty, pretty cool place. Yeah, we were actually fished this before, but it was like rainy, it was high. It was pretty hard work, but we found some awesome fish. So uh, we're back in here. The river's a lot lower and yeah, things are looking pretty good. So we're gonna get ready. I'll talk you through what I'm using and then we're gonna get on the water and try and catch some fish. The cool thing about, well, one of the cool things about this place is there's always a potential for something epic. So we're gonna go streamers, big, dirty, and some hopefully some sight fishing as well while we're here. Some deep nymphing, some heavy stuff. We're gonna have a good time, aren't we? Perfect. Sweet man, let's get to it. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna do two rigs. Well, I'm gonna do two rigs. Are you fishing one rod? Dave's gonna fish one rod. I'm gonna be greedy and fish two. I'm gonna set up a streamer and a nymph rig. Right, so we're gonna streamer it up. So I'm gonna run six weights today. It's a bit of a big river. There's some big fish in here, so it helps to have that little bit more kind of grunt, you know? So I'm gonna run the Helios 3 six weight F. Yeah, that is the F. Um, probably my favorite rod. This in the five weight and the six weight. As far as I'm concerned, is the best rod I've used yet, I think. We're gonna run that. I'll set up the streamer rod first because, I don't know, it's quick and easy. And I want to. All right, so here we go. I've got the Mirage LT size two reel in this cool burnt orange. And then on here, I've just freshly spooled the Scientific Angler's Trout Express line. Uh, which is like a floating running line to a, like a, a short section of intermediate down to a sink five head. It's a really, really cool line. I really like using it. And then on there, we'll just chuck a small section, maybe four or five feet of like 16 pound fluorocarbon and then just something big and game changery, I reckon, because it's fun. This is a 210 grain line, which goes pretty well for that six weight kind of range. And on there, somewhere in here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. I've got some uh, 16 pound absolute supreme fluorocarbon, again from SA. And if I feel like I do need to drop down, I'll drop down to maybe like 12 pounds, but we'll suss that out as we go. It is low and it is clear today, which is very different to what we had last season when we were in here. So it'll be interesting to see how it differs. Right, so I've just tied a perfection loop in the end of that, and we'll go, I don't know, let's go about that long, four feet maybe. We're just going to take the loop of the leader, pass it over the loop of the fly line, and then push the leader back through the loop of the fly line, and you've got yourself your loop-to-loop -loop connection. Mm-hmm. Streamer box. I'm gonna go with this. I think I'm just gonna go old faithful. I've actually managed to hang on to this fly since last season. Dustin tied this for me last year and I haven't lost it yet. And it works really well, it looks great in the water and it's caught me some really good fish now. I'm gonna run with that because I like it, I've got confidence in it and well, that's it really. That's all I need as a reason. So I'm gonna use a lefty's loop to tie this onto my leader. Don't know how to tie a lefty's loop. I'm gonna leave a video up here uh, with basically most of the knots I use with all my fishing. Boom, tag ends and hip pack. Yeah, baby, ready to go. I'm excited about fishing this. All right, rig number two, number two. Again, the Helios 3 six way F, but just in the olive um, color. I started rain again. Come on, man, I got my camera out. I am finished. So it might be a little bit sporadic with the um, main camera filming today, uh, just because it's raining on and off. Hopefully it doesn't last too long, but I'm probably going to put this away now because it's rainy and I'll uh, carry on on the GoPro. Yo, okay. Put the GoPro balancing precariously on the tripod now uh, while it rains. Yeah, like I said, we've got the six-way F here. 
On here again, I've got the Mirage LT size two reel, but in a dark olive. And then on there, you know what's on there, guys. It's a Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line in a six weight. So I'm gonna run no poly leader today just because we're probably gonna be nymphing pretty deep for the most part. So I'm just gonna build my own straight through leader just so those get, you know, just to help get those flies down super quick into the zone and keep them there. And if I do need to fish like a dry dropper or something, I can still cast that fine. It's just a bit more clumsy, but it's sweet. And it is rainy, which kind of sucks for filming, but it is kind of good for streamer weather. I kind of like fishing streamers in the rain, eh? I'm gonna take some 1X, and I'm gonna tie a perfection loop. And then one end of that, just so I can do a loop-to-loop -loop connection to my fly line. But whatever knot you like to do, that's fine. I just like the perfection loop. It's quick, it's easy, it's strong, it's good. Tag ends in the hip back, and then same as before, I'm gonna take the loop of my leader over the fly line, back through the fly line. Loop to loop, boom. And we'll go 3X off of that for the main part of the leader. Again, this is a Scientific Angler's um, Absolute Supreme tippet. So I'm gonna use a blood knot to attach my 3X to my 1X. And I'm probably gonna run about, I don't know, 10 or 11 feet of 3X before I change down to drop down to 4X. And then off of that, we'll go 4X, maybe three feet. Like 11, plus 3, 14, maybe like 14, 15 feet to my first fly. That'd be good. Again, I'm gonna blood knot these two together. So again, some hip pack. Now, first fly, I think I'm gonna go for, if I have one, yeah, I've got a couple left. I'm gonna go size 10, 101 from category three flies. It's just such a damn good fly. And it's pretty much my go-to dropper fly. And I'm gonna use a double Davy knot to attach this to that. Again, that video I linked earlier has this knot in there too. Barb's already crushed, we'll go a bit of 4x off of the bend of that. Again, double Davy, that ends in hip back, and about 18 inches. And we'll go a UV flashback pheasant tail, again from category three flyers, in a size 14. Crush that barb, so we've got, so we've got that, there's my 101, and then there's my size 14. Pheasant tail. We'll chuck a indicator on that. Try and find a fish. It's a different river to the last time we were in here. Get in there, Dave. Go on, son. Get in there. You gonna fish the bottom? Okay. All right. All right, so Dave's gonna go and fish the bottom half of this pool and work his way up. And uh, I'm gonna throw some stuff around in the head here. I would have thought we were gonna see something, but I can't. That doesn't mean to say it's not there. I think what I'm gonna do is put the nymph through first and then bang the streamer around in the more harder to get stuff over the back there. But uh, yes, 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 let's go people. Let's go. Okay. Let's nymph it up. All right, I'll start from here. We just work our way up and out and over and just, yeah, just suss it out. There's gotta be fish in there, guys. There's gotta be. I'm not gonna start super deep. I don't think, because it's not actually super deep in there. I'm sure it'd be actually pretty good where I'm at, to be honest. Start on this inside. Inside lane first, see what happens, see where she goes, see what we, got, uh, see what we get, and we'll work our way out from there. Remember, fish your feet first, work your way out. Not touching bottom, so I could potentially go a little bit deeper. Definitely gets deeper as it gets out there. It's Dave fishing down there. Look, he's going to work his way up towards me. It's a bit of a weird drift. Slower over the back there. 
That was the bottom. A bit deeper over the back there. A nice big boulder over there that uh, looks quite fishy. Just coming in front of the boulder there. It's kind of a place I'd hang out if I was a fish. Damn right. Tickled the top of that boulder, I think. Indicator just slowed down a little bit. Come on now. There's one. I was not looking. Yeah, baby! I was actually looking at something else. I looked back up and my indicator was gone. That's a nice chunky fish. Woo! Beautiful. Yeah, she's chunky, bro. Chunky. That's a solid fish. Football kind of shape, like rugby ball if you're in New Zealand. And a football if you're in the States. Oh, yes. Jumpy, jumpy rainbow. Don't fly for the wind, baby. Oof. Great condition, man. Yeah. Oof. Damn, she's strong, man. Just working my angles, taking my time. There we go. Nope. Off balance, head up. Get her off balance, get her head up. Get her off balance. Turn her, get her head up. Just keep playing that game. What'll happen? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, sweet! What a start, bro! Oh. She is beautiful, man. Yeah, she's, she's got a big, thick tail on her. Oh man, what a start! That was a beautiful fish. Actually, uh, Dave weighed her, she was bang on six pounds. Not that that matters. I mean, who cares? It's just a mint fish. Just nothing wrong with her. Good condition, just beautiful, nothing wrong. Just great. So that's a great start. Um, so I'm going to retire. I lost my dropper in the fight there, somewhere along the line, but I'll retire that and then I'll just fish the rest of that. Dave is going to go back down there and work his way back up. I did offer him the head of the pool, but uh, he's quite happy just working that bottom part right up against that wall which does look very good. Anyway, good stuff, eight stone fly, good times. Right up there into that kind of fast, bubbly white water. Yo, so we tried to do this crossing the last time we came in here. It was just too high and it was just too dangerous. So we turned around and we went downstream, but we actually did it really easily today. So we're into stuff we haven't fished before now. So it's pretty exciting. We always like new water. Anyway, Dave's up. Let's see if we can pull something out of here. That's nice. Yeah. So Dave was just walking upstream, uh, dragging his flies behind him, and uh, that happened. <laughs> there we go. That's a good fish too. Doing a bit of a uh, bit of harling there, were you? <laughs> Oh, hook popped. 
Oh, lucky man. Okay, found another piece of water. Um, well, this is the next piece of water. Uh, Dave has handed over the shot to me. Uh, he reckons he's had his shot. Lost a fish. Yeah, there's a couple. Hey? Oh, true. There is a fish down here on the inside. But it's a bit of a, a bit of a shitty drift. We'll have a go. Yeah, I can see him. I can see this guy here too. This guy looks a bit skinny. That'll be in the zone. Somewhere around there. I've got eyes on. Right over that fish now. There he is. Got him. That's the guy I wanted. Oh yeah. Cool, 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 cool. That was cool. Ooh. Missed my opportunity there. Come on, bro. Got him. Yeah. Oh, hooked out in the net. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to do this in the middle of the river, guys. Just because I don't want to mess with the fish too much. I'll give you a quick look. It's a cool fish. Look at that. Heaps of character. Yeah, look at that. See you, dude. Okay, nothing much going on with the streamer there. Didn't even move a fish that I could see. So I'm going to bang the limp through that deep stuff, see if we get some kind of a drift. And then we're looking ahead and move on. It's a weird drift. It's a weird kind of drift. There we go. That's a bit better. A little bit better. Not, not brilliant, but a bit better. Good, not great. There we go. Better. Over the back, where I want it. And that's where the fish is! Pretty happy with that bit of fishing, to be honest. Yeah, just had to get those flies over the back by the wall. Get a bit creative with the mending. And uh, paid off. Bit of a skinnier fish, but that's okay. Satisfying to get the eat out of that one. Nice. Nice one. Oh, cool draw. Look straight out. Perfect. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. Just give you a quick show and we'll get him back. Because, again, I'm in the middle of the river and I don't want to mess with a fish too much. So nice, bit skinnier, but still a cool fish. See you, buddy. Out of here. All right. Yeah, so that was um, that was a cool little, that was a cool little fish actually. Um, a bit skinny, uh, a bit banged up. But what was really satisfying about that was just what I had to do to get the drift over the back there by the rock. A bit of messing around and kind of some technical mending stuff, which was really satisfying. Uh, to do and then get the eat. So I'm happy with that. Happy, happy, happy. Dave is going to put his fly through the top here just before we move up to our beautiful run just above us here. So feel good about the next two pieces of water.
that's good. Moving forward. Yep, 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 yep. Nice work. Oh, here we go. I got it. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> I just fell in. <laughs> Good stuff, finally got it done. Um, I think that was the same fish that we kind of pushed up from before, potentially, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. I'd say so, yeah. Got the right cast, fish kind of moved over, and then just kind of like indicated a pause a little bit maybe, but called it on instinct and it was the right call. Yeah, nice work, great. mate. And that was on one of the days of the special flies. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff, man, nice work. <laughs> All right, on the board. Chunky one. Oh, pretty fish. Whoops. Oh no. I just pulled that inside my. Oh. What's it? Like an idiot. There we go. Wasn't paying attention at all. Don't fly again. Yeah. Ooh, happy with her. No release shot on that because she kind of got disorientated and then gonna mess around in here and then I don't know where she went, but she's gone now. Wicked fish, really good condition, real happy with her. Um, and we had to work really hard well between us. We fished this whole pool really, really well, I think anyway. Um, lost that one fish and then, yeah, was kind of really dredging the, the bottom and really trying out different drifts and different mends just to kind of, I don't know, find something. And then that girl came along, so. Happy. Happy, Happy man. man. All right, let's have some lunch and see if we can carry on.
best fish of the trip, bud. That's a mega fish. Yeah, bro. Oh, easily fish of the trip. Oh, what a fish, dude. <laughs> Chasing. Chase. Oh, he had, yeah, he can't eat. I saw his mouth go, but he just didn't. Nothing actually happened. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Bit of fishing. Ooh. What's that? I know, eh? That's a beautiful fish. Nicely done, my friend. Kaboom. Nice work. Just absolutely stunning, aren't they? Look at her. Worth it. That's a great fish. It's another just solid fish, eh? Brilliant. Uh, right along that back wall, we had to try and like get that drip right, right down that wall, and there she was. Right where I was being too. Um, similar size to the fish that moved on my streamer, and actually I did eat it. That fish down there did eat it. I saw his mouth go, and I felt a little poop, but nothing happened. So uh, it was pretty cool. It was a great piece of water. Uh, all right, we're gonna think about maybe after this next piece of water, trying to find a way out of here, but. Um, Hey. <laughs> you want to be a oh, there's another fish just ate your flies. Strike, strike, strike. That's a different fish. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened to my voice there, but um, oh. Not enough tension, baby. Not enough tension. I don't know what happened to my voice there, but um, it's like I started to go through puberty again, so I'm sorry about that. It sounded like a cross between a small girl and a goat. 
But yeah, it was a different fish to the one I was trying to put Dave onto. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, not enough tension there, I think, and shook the hook. But cool to watch, good stuff. All right, so another couple of half hour follows in that streamer. Uh, he's just not having it, so I'm just gonna put the to see if I can make him eat a mint. He's over there somewhere, if he was anyway. I assume he's still over there somewhere. There he is. Whoa! Dude, 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 where are you going? I think he's now wrapped around the tail after all that jumping around. Now we're going to get this legit now. Unwrapped. It's worth putting the nymph through. That's the same guy for sure. Yeah, I think it's the same Definitely. So we can make this quick ish. Nice. That's another solid fish, man. Yeah, not so much bigger. That's close. Yeah, so yeah, cool. Yeah. Just beautiful, eh? So good. <laughs> okay, people. So, <clears throat> we're gonna get out of here. Just having a snack. We're gonna break the roads down find a way out of here, get back to the truck, and um, call it a day. Dave lost one fish. Yeah, well, Dave lost one fish out of here, and um, saw a couple more, but just I don't think he came across anything else. Um, I was just having a snack and a sit down, actually, so I missed what he was doing. But either way, super cool day. Really enjoyed this piece of water. Haven't fished it before. Would love to fish it again, because uh, it's quality great fish through and through some streamer eats uh just some just quality fish all day and a, a good time sorry about the lack of b-roll and stuff but you know it's rainy so i haven't been able to use the main camera or any of the lenses so it's been gopro stuff all the way but hopefully the quality of fish made up for that i'm gonna go meet up with the bro on the other side of the river we're gonna get out of here great to see you guys give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff have a great week everyone i'll see you on the next one peace